Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into your reading. Okay. Guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their love life. Okay, what messages do we have for Libra regarding their love life? What does Libra need to know regarding their love life? What love messages do we have for Libra at this time, please? Please continue to protect us, with your verse, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, we can leave it there. Okay. So just so you see the last card that flipped, two of cups. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, we're starting off with the sun. Love, love, love. Okay, so this could be a friendship that turns to romance, but this definitely represents a joyous union, happiness, success, prosperity, good health, like the whole shebang. And with the two of cups here, you're getting it all, baby. You're getting it all. Two of cups is true love friendship, appreciation. So not only are you guys going to be like friends, but you're also going to be lovers. You're going to have that complete connection. Okay. Two of cups is also a union, a bonds connection. Okay. And then we have here the five of cups. Okay. Now this was actually in reverse. Now I don't normally read reversals unless I'm told to. So in this particular reading, I am told to read this as a reversal. So if you've been disappointed in love in the past, okay, uh, you've had regrets, feeling frustrated, that's all gone. That is all gone. Once you meet this person, all that negative feeling is gone. It's all erased. Um, you know, you know, not 100% erased because there's still some things that we harbor and hold on to. We're humans. We can't help ourselves. But this person is going to bring you such joy and happiness. You're going to have such a bond and such a connection that where you've been feeling that this is new love coming in for you or somebody that you've just met and it's starting to get stronger. If you've had, um, if you've had some, um, I don't want to say disappointment or regrets, but if you've had some like doubts, that's the word I'm looking for. If you've had some doubts about the connection, like, oh, this is too good to be true. I don't know about this. That's going to dissipate. This is a beautiful, amazing connection for you. Okay. I love this. All right, Libra. So let's get some more cards for you. Okay, what is going on in Libra's love life? Can you please clarify the sun and the two of cups here for Libra? What shall Libra expect regarding this reading in their love life? So this works out for you if you're already uh, in a new relationship with someone or if you're waiting for someone new to come in, okay? So let's see, what do we have here? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So with the five of cups in reverse here, I'm feeling that somebody had running tendencies. Okay. So somebody, uh, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So I feel that this person had this five of cups energy because they were afraid to be intimate. They were afraid to let their guard down. 
Okay, and then that is what this is going to be reversed. They're going to finally let that guard down, and then that's when that, that bond and that connection is just going to get so much stronger. Someone's going to realize that this is true love, and they're, they're going to let that wall down. See, because when you have here, when you guys meet for a new relationship, okay, or if this is someone you just met, Everything was great in the beginning. You have this great connection. Everything is going really well. But then someone's having doubts like, mm, I don't know. I'm worried. You know, everything's moving so fast. Everything's too good to be true. Here we have this, you know, fear of intimacy, listening to ego, you know, putting their, these thoughts in their minds. That's normally the five of cups here. And then that shit's going to be reversed because you guys are just going to have such a, a strong bond and connection here. Uh, like I said, you're also going to be friends and lovers. They're going to realize it's true love. There's going to be mutual appreciation here. And it's just going to be like, okay, I'm going to let my guard down. I'm, I'm ready to be happy. I want to be with this person. Okay, then we have here sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So I feel this is more watching, looking, stalking, but not stalking in a bad way. So this may be somebody that has been keeping an eye on you. Check out Aquarius's video. Because Aquarius... You just had, uh, I just did your video. If you have a, a Libra that you're interested in, cross-watch Aquarius um, because this, they have actually somebody that's been keeping their eye on them. Okay, so we have watching, looking, stalking. So someone's been keeping their eye on you. They actually, Aquarius, let me see. The title here is Secret Crush Revealed. So Libra, if you have a crush on Aquarius and you're getting ready to like reveal, go, go cross-watch Aquarius. Okay, so and they, like I said, they had somebody that's been, you know, watching and admiring from a distance. Okay, then we have date for those of you meeting somebody new or have just recently met someone new. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, planning and setting a date. So you're, you're meeting someone new, you're dating them, you're very pleased with them. And then we have the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. Okay, so it's just clarifying exactly what I said. This is things are moving. Uh, you might feel like it's moving too fast. It's or it's too good to be true because it is evolving because you guys are just so tight and you could just just click so fast that it's like boom, 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 you know, but in a good way. But if you're not with the five of cups here, if you're not used to that and you're more, you know, like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. My defenses are up. Hold on. All right. So let's see, Libra. Since you are a little skeptical and nervous here, how does this person feel about you? How does Libra's person feel about you romantically? How does Libra's person feel about you romantically? How does this person feel about you romantically? Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have teacher here. So this person um, may feel that they learn from you or they may feel that you've taught uh, a lot of people. You've, you know, given back to society by um, educating or doing something to teach people in some way. Okay, peace. They feel at peace with you. They feel a peaceful vibe from you. You may be into like uh, yoga or meditating. Yeah, we have spiritual awakening here as well. You may also be somebody that they've dreamed of, which makes total sense because, you know, this this is your person, okay? And this could be also be the person of your dreams. And then with protection here, again, this is you coming through, wanting to protect yourself, and they see that and they understand that, okay? All right, so let's see what other messages do we have for you, Libra, regarding this connection. What other messages do we have for Libra? Regarding this connection. What other messages do we have for Libra regarding this connection? Just spilling the beans. <laughs> Letting it all out. That guard comes down and then everything is... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we have here expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So, you know, again, you're ready to... Let your hair down, figuratively speaking. You're ready to let your guard down. You're not going to run from this person. You're going to express how you feel. Responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love 
you express. So you are ready to like man up, so to speak, with this person. You're going to take the response, like you're a responsibility of this relationship. You want to be committed here. Empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. So like I said, with protection here, this person sees you have your wall up, but they understand. So they're not going to rush you. They'll just be like, hey, I get it. I understand, man. It's all good. When you're ready to let it down, you let me know. You know, and that's more of you like, oh, my God, hearts in the eyes. This person is fucking amazing. Loyalty. Always the card you want to see when you're doing a love reading. Loyalty. Numero uno. Loyalty. And again, peacefulness. So you're going to have so much peace and relaxation with this person. You're going to feel like it's like I said, you, you guys just click. It, it's like you've met your other half. You just you're completely zen and at peace with this person i feel you have so much in common just so much flows it's going to be an amazing amazing relationship for you okay so let's pull some letters and initials let's see who is libra dealing with let's see if we can get some clues as to who is libra dealing with can you give me some letters and initials please for libra person place or thing however it connects them to their person Last shuffle. Okay. Oh, you got a lot of letters here, Libra. Okay, so we got NY came out. So you got somebody from New York. Okay, we have the letter Z. Could also be like Nyack, New Jersey, you know. However, it resonates with you, NY, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm from New York. So immediately I see NY, I'm like, New York. <laughs> okay. Could be an X. P. Okay. PZ, I'm getting pizza, New York pizza. Somebody, an X that loves New York pizza, perhaps. G. J. And R. So we got a junior here. Someone might be a junior. A junior from New York. There's millions. <laughs> okay. So N Y Z X P G J R. However, that resonates with you. Person, place, or thing. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some more cards here. Actually, let's see. I'm going to go to. Mm -hmm. Let me go to the astrology deck. Let's get some more messages from the astrology deck. Okay, what other messages do we have for Libra regarding their person? Can you give us some more details for Libra's person? Who is Libra's person? We have one card here for a sign. We have Scorpio. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio or just this energy. This energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. Okay. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio or they just may have that energy. Let me go to the Moonology deck and pull some more signs from here. Okay. Who else? may Libra be dealing with? Can you give us some more messages for Libra? More details for Libra. Okay, so we have here, this energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon phase. So for some of you, you may see some activity here in the waxing moon phase. What did I say to you guys before? Show the world the real you. Aquarius, cross watch that shit. Full moon in Aquarius, or simply the next full moon phase. Okay, show the world the real you. So you are revealing yourself, Libra, possibly to an Aquarius. Here I am, baby. The guard is down. How we doing? We're doing just lovely things, darling. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can get an idea of what this person's 
life purpose is. Occupation, life purpose of this person that Libra may be dealing with. It's all in the details. 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 Okay. Also, keep in mind this is a general reading. If you would like a private reading to have more focused information on you specifically, you can go to zenwithinme.com. I have all my contact info down below in the description box. Okay. So what do we have here? Okay, so somebody may be a builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Okay, now this could be somebody that's in construction. They don't have to be a physical laborer. They could be in the building industry, okay? I also read this as, you know, the builder, somebody that's, that's making things from, like, the foundation up, okay? Because since this deck doesn't have, like, every single occupation, we have to be a little broad here with builder. So, yes, it could be somebody in construction. It could be somebody that also, like, works in a factory making things from scratch, okay? You're building something. Or somebody that perhaps has, like, built something from the ground up, figuratively speaking, Okay. Then we have here options. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So someone might be in between jobs right now trying to figure things out, okay? And then we have freedom. You're free to do what you choose. So this person with freedom may, may love um, doing things freelance. Um, they like to have their own freedom. They don't want to punch a clock. They may um, be wealthy enough that they own their own company or business or whatever, that they have enough money that they're free to do whatever the fuck they want. And that's, that's the life, is it not? That's all of our dreams, to just have enough cash flow to do whatever the fuck you want. You have your freedom, you live your life, and nobody can tell you shit. Love it. Okay, so this person is either like that free spirit or the freedom. They can do whatever they want. They own their own you know, um, business, corporation, whatever, where they do something freelance. So they're free to, uh, make their schedule whatever way they want. All right. Okay. Now last deck, let's see what musician or artist this person connects with. So they may listen to this style of music because we have different genres in here. We also have the artists. So with the artists, they may like this particular artist. You may have a certain song that pops into your head when you see one of these cards. Pay attention to the lyrics of that song. If you're not familiar with any of them, go check them out. There's further messages there for you. Okay, so they may resemble this person's personality or style, or it's just the musical lyrics. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Libra? And like I said, since we're doing Libra, the one thing that pisses me off about this deck is that Eminem's not in it. And I say that during Libra because he's a Libra. Okay. Last shuffle. Any other messages for Libra? Ooh, I'm just spitting them out. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's get the ones that flipped first. Okay, so we have, for folk and country music, we have Joni Mitchell. So, for example, you're interested in someone they may have. Now, it's not, a, this is a woman, yes, but if, if you're a woman and you're like, well, I'm looking for a man, he might have long blonde hair, he might have blonde hair, he may wear a hat. Okay, she's got what, let me see, blue, blue-green eyes, so they may have that eye color, Okay. Rock and roll, Debbie Harry, Blondie. Love Blondie. Call me. Okay. Folk, country, Willie Nelson. See, perfect. This person might have a beard, you know. All different ways that you can see the energies of this here for your person. Then we have blues, soul, R&B, Billie Holiday. Love Billie Holiday. If you haven't seen the movie, uh, Lady Sings the Blues, you should definitely check it out. It's an oldie but goodie. Okay, rock and roll, Freddie Mercury. And then we have more rock and roll, Jimi Hendrix. Love Jimi Hendrix. They have a lot of good artists in here. Okay. All right, so those are your messages, Libra. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.